Hey, in today's video, we're taking a look at how to refill your barbecue lighter or utility lighter easy and simple. This is so easy, anyone could do. Everything that we use on the video, we're gonna leave a link on the description. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. That does help us out a lot, thank you. So you woke up today and you felt like starting a fire or doing some grilling. But it seems that every time you pick up the lighter, it either doesn't turn on or it ran out. Don't worry, here at the Statterbox team, we're gonna provide you the solution for one of them. Because we know the first one is user error. I mean, we believe in you. You can do it, Grasshopper. You can turn on that lighter. Just keep clicking away. With 10,000 hours, anybody can be a pro. You can do it. And to achieve DIY boss status, we're gonna need three things. And the first thing is a lighter. If you don't have a lighter, we applaud you. The second thing that we're gonna need is butane fuel. You can usually get this at any major store or we'll leave links in the description. And the third and most important thing is yourself because what would be of us or you without you? And in this video, we're gonna show two ways of refilling the lighter. So the first thing that we want to check is that we don't have any fuel in the system. And you can usually verify this by turning your lighter to the side. You would see a little window that if you move the lighter side to side close to a light source, you should be able to see if there's any liquid in there. Or at least now you have your new fidget spinner. If after the inspection, you notice that there's no fuel source, we're ready for the next step. And what we're gonna verify second is the first way of refilling your lighter. And contrary to popular belief, most of these are refillable. So if we look at the bottom of the lighter, you would see a little hole with with a little nozzle inside. And the first thing that we wanna do is remove any air from inside the system because if it has air inside, it won't let the butane go in. The first thing that we wanna do is have the lighter stand upside down, having the hole pointing up. And we do this because butane is heavier than air, meaning that the air is gonna go to the top. And then using a sharp object, we're gonna go ahead and press down on the nozzle to release that air. If you notice, butane comes out, that means you still have butane inside the system. Usually with three to five presses should be enough. Now using the same technique, now we're gonna get our butane bottle and turning it upside down, having the nozzle pointing down to the lighter for the same reasons as before. Now we're gonna show the whole world our aligning technique. We're gonna align the nozzle extender stick from the can with the nozzle entry point on the lighter. And you know, we're making up these names as we go. Once we align them, we're gonna press down the can and in short bursts of one or two seconds, we're going to refill the lighter until we see the little window fill with liquid or until we see butane spray out when we press. If you notice the butane sprays out, but it's not going in the lighter, it could be that you still have air inside the reservoir. And you would have to take your sharp object and press again on the entry nozzle a couple of times to release that air. And now you've done it, Grasshopper. You're one step closer to a human flamethrower. And now we've gotten to the second way of refilling your lighter. We're gonna go ahead and take our victim and lay him down on our surgery table. If we check our lighter, we're gonna notice one screw that holds the whole system in place. And this screw could be a Phillips screw or a flathead screw. We're gonna take a screwdriver and using the old ancient technique, of lefty loosey righty tighty we're gonna go ahead and remove it and as we get closer to beating the traitor to submission once the screw is removed we want to get a flat object like a butter knife or a specialty tool and slide it all around where the plastic meets and makes the connection we're basically going to pry it open but first we're just gonna loosen it open if you have a sticker like in this case you want to break that seal now that we have it semi detached we're gonna notice on the arm a small ring that holds both plastics in place. In some lighters, it doesn't have the ring, so you should be able to pry it open without this step. Remember, you want to do this slowly because we don't want any of the internal parts flying all around. And then just like the screw bin, having screws left over after rebuilding something. You can use the same technique to remove the ring, remembering saving all the parts. And that's a pro tip. Now, you should be able to 
to remove the top easily. We remove the locking button, placing it to the side the same way we took it out so we can know how to reinstall it. Or we can take a picture or rely on your beautiful mind. We're gonna lift up the reservoir, pull it slightly down so we can remove it from the clicker and gently remove the tube from the nozzle. And now you've done it. You broke it. You went from a perfectly good lighter to a broken one. We really don't think that's how you help inflation. Now, depending on your lighter's reservoir, different from the first one we refilled, yours could be one of three. But like this one that we have, it does have a presser tab that if you notice, once we press down, the entry nozzle goes up. And once we leave it up, this is gonna release the air in the reservoir. But also at the same time, if we keep it up, this is how we're gonna refill our lighter. If in your case, it does not have a lifting tab, you can use a needle nose plier or any tools at your disposal, like your partner's tweezers, or we'll leave links in the description. And we're basically gonna do the same technique as before instead of pressing down we're gonna pick up and release the air the third system you might have would be just like the first one that you press down and it releases the butane or the air or you would have to hold down to have the air go in remember to use the same technique of having the butane bottle upside down and the entry nozzle pointing up now you've done it, Grasshopper. We're ready to reverse engineer our way to victory. We're gonna start by inserting the entry nozzle on the tube, then placing back the reservoir inside the clicker, then placing our locking knob, placing back the plastic side of the lighter, tapping it in, inserting the ring, and finally inserting the screw. Now you've done it. You become a fire controller, a fire master, a lighter refiller, and once again, and most importantly, you leveled up in the DIY world, becoming once again, the king, queen, both or none of your castle. Don't forget, if you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. That really helps. If you have any questions, place them in the comment section below. Either someone on the Statabox team or someone on the YouTube community can help you out with an answer. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on social media, Thank you for watching and here's a link to our latest video.